Hi, I'm Chris, and this is a quick tutorial on how to store images. Now, that may sound like a kind of a funny thing to do a tutorial on, but the one thing I get a lot of questions on from people is how do you store your pictures? If you take a lot of pictures with the DSLR, you end up with a lot of big files. And what I notice a lot of people doing with their digital cameras in general, not just DSLRs, is a lot of people tend to want to store their pictures on their memory cards and then you end up with a very full memory card and uh, you know like I will say I'll pick on my own mother she's got my my children's entire life history stored on her camera and so she it's kind of fun sometimes you can go back and hit the playback and you can see pictures from years ago but the downside is these are uh, some somewhat volatile you could lose images off these memory cards and um, of course, if you want to take more pictures, you've got to delete pictures off. And everybody knows what that's like. Everybody, we all do that on our cell phones. And, and But many people do that on their cards because they don't know how to store their images in an effective way. So that's what we want to talk about today. Another way that people will store outside of memory cards, the way a lot of people store their pictures is just on their computer. One issue with that, you're one virus or one power surge away from losing your entire catalog of pictures. So I don't recommend storing all your pictures on your hard drive. I will store them for a short period on my hard drive before I transfer them over. I'll show you that process here in a minute of what I do. If, you, uh, if you're storing your pictures on your hard drive, please, 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 this is one of a few methods that you could use to store your pictures in another way. But uh, I just, I ask you to think about some way of storing your pictures for the sake of your pictures, finding another way to store them. And one motivation behind this, if you know anybody that's had a fire in their family, the one thing you'll always hear people say is, wow, we lost all of our family pictures and we can't get those back. So with that motivation in mind, let's go to the computer and let's talk about one method that I use for storing pictures. Certainly there are, there are tons of other ways to do it. This is the way I developed uh, over time and it seems to work fairly well. So on the computer here, you will see these four pictures. These are the four pictures that I want to store, that I want to keep, and I don't want to lose those. And I could leave them on my computer, but like I said before, you're one power surge away from losing all those. So what I do, I'll have to explain my hardware a little bit. I have two Western Digital hard drives. One of them is a network hard drive, which goes on my local network here in the house, and the other one is a USB device. Now currently, I have both of those hard drives sitting in my basement. and the network hard drive has a USB port on the back of it that I plug my USB hard drive into when I want to do these backups. Now I'll explain why I have two hard drives here in a little bit. On my Mac, you will see there is a public drive and a USB 1-1 share one. This public drive represents the hard drive and the, the network hard drive and this USB 1-1 share one represents the USB hard drive that I have connected to the network hard drive. Are you confused yet? I hope not. I hope the pictures are helping. But for example's sake, over here on my desktop you will see a public drive and a USB 1-1 share one. If you're in a PC environment you would go to start and hit computer or my computer and then you would see your different drives that are available to you. Uh, in the PC environment you would name those like a U drive or a Z drive or whatever letter you want to put on there. C drives like your main hard drive. In a Mac environment they show up a little bit different. So what I've got here is if you want to think of, if you want to compare this, if you added a drive to your PC, you know, your hard, your main hard drive would be your C drive, and then your second one would probably be a D, and your third one would be an E. So think of this public as your D drive, and this USB 1-1-1, whatever. Think of that as your E drive. So it's just two extra drives that are showing up. It's not complicated, but it seems like it on the surface. I'm going to double click on this public drive and I'm going to double click on USB 1-1 share 1. What I'm doing is opening up both of those hard drives. Now as you can see they both look similar. They are. They're, they're copies of each other. I make two copies of everything and I'll tell you why. Uh, one hard drive, like I said, stays on our network. The other is a USB drive that I store in a fire safe. And what I do every few weeks, I try to do it at least uh, once a month, sometimes it goes out to a couple months, is I back up one drive to the other. I store everything on my network drive 
and then I back that up to my USB drive, if that makes sense. But sometimes the way I do that is if I have just a few pictures that I want to store, that I want to back up and, and take off of my computer, I don't store my computer, my pictures on my computer. Like I said, you're one power surge away from losing all that, but also you only have a, a certain amount of memory in the case of this computer, I have a one terabyte hard drive, but that gets taken up when your pictures are anywhere from 10 meg to 16 meg in size each. And I do take raw, so they, they get rather large in their file size. So in this case, I do have these four pictures that I want to store and, and in turn get off of my hard drive so they're not taking up space. What I do, if you will notice on these, these on both of these hard drives, our pictures are stored by year. Going back to 1999 in this case when we first got into digital photography and going clear up to 2013. Now if I double click on that folder over there and double click on this folder over here. Now again, you have to remember we're thinking of two different drives here. So this is my main network drive and this is my USB drive. And what I will do is I will create a folder and in this case it's going to be February 2013. And then any pictures that I want to put in there, I just double clicked on that by the way if you can't see what I'm doing with my keystrokes, and I want to take these pictures and I want to move them over to that network hard drive. Now I just copied them over there as you can see. I still have them on my desktop but I have them over here on our network drive. And we'll clean that up by name and there they go all nice and pretty. Now, I can go back and see that I have four items in that February 2013 folder now. If I copy that one and move it over to our secondary drive, now I have two exact copies of those uh, the same folder and same images on both hard drives. I have to talk a little bit more about the hardware. My network hard drive is actually a two terabyte hard drive that is set up in what's called a RAID 1 configuration. There's actually two one terabyte hard drives inside the case. And what a RAID 1 configuration does is those two drives are a copy of each other. And why that's important is if one drive fails, I still have a good copy on the other side. And that works for day-to-day -day use. That's fine all the time. And, but then I got to thinking in my mind, that's it, great that I have two copies on that drive, but what if there was a fire? That's why I do my secondary drive to back up my primary drive, and I store that in my fire safe. I don't leave that out and connect it all the time. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that was easy to follow. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments down below. And uh, please think about storing your pictures. And oh, what I forgot to do here at the end, of course, after you back up and you know you have your pictures backed up there to the hard drive, you can drag these suckers right in there and empty your trash. And now you have just freed up that much space on your hard drive. So that's a good computer maintenance thing to do also. It's, this is, it's, yes, this is about backing up your pictures, but it's also about freeing up your resources to do other things. So I hope that uh, little uh, lesson was good for you. I hope it did something that helped you think about backing up your pictures. Like I said, down in the comments below, ask any questions or comments or add to this conversation as you see fit. Thanks for watching.